Brian, Brian, how easy or difficult is it to entrain and replicate the sort of intensity that you saw in the match and what Tyrone were doing particularly well with turnovers and getting the hand in and all that? Is that something you can work on or is it just something that comes from within a lot of these players? There's a bit of both, but I suppose most that comes from within. You have to want to do that, you know. That's not the nicest part of football. You know, you have to... It's, it's energy is and it's hard work. You know, you can create the environment and training to an extent, but you have to really want it in a match. You know, Indeed. and thankfully a lot of our boys do want that to an extent. It'll be another battleground again against Mayo because you know they meet you head on in that area as well, the middle third one. And that's and that's one of Mayo's greatest strengths is is their work rate, and particularly from their forward midfield unit. Never mind their defence. You know, uh, their tackling and their uh, their intensity there. You know, and a lot of teams have experienced that this year. I know it is one one of the keys of Mayo's success has been their work rate generally all around the field. Would that be the game? Do you think who's going to come out of those little marginal gains there? Well, that's that's be one aspect of it. You know, definitely the one aspect of it. You know, uh, you have to earn the right to play football. You know, and Mayo definitely earn the right. They work hard to earn the right to play football, and you know, you're going to have to work equally hard to earn that right to play football against them. Was there any of the final Brian as a player that you particularly enjoyed the build up? It was a long time ago, I forget now to be honest. I think you're just caught in the moment, you know, you just want to train every night. And that's all you want. You just want to be out training and playing football. So, you know, you kinda it it just flies past so quick. You know, and uh, uh to be honest it's probably a blur to me. You know, but um it's just come to training every night, do the best you can, hope you don't get injured. You know. Do you allow the players to kind of Enjoy it, or do you kind of clean them away? Uh, well, the players can enjoy it. Surely they come here and they can, you know, they just have to be sensible about it. Um, probably with COVID and all the things at the moment, it's probably not as enjoyable. You know, uh, you don't have the media nights and the supporter nights that you would have used to have. But you know, it is what it is. Um, they'll come here and surely they they want to they enjoy it. they enjoy coming to training. They enjoy being in each other's company. You know, that's what they really do enjoy. And uh, and they come in here and they work hard and. You know, hopefully they'll work hard enough and work very well enough over the next fortnight. Brian, you took a lot of these players to the under-21 title in 2015. At what stage of, of that process did you realise we've got a pretty special bunch here? You know, because quite a chunk of them have come on to the seniors. It doesn't always happen. No, it doesn't. But you know, uh, I suppose under-21s, 20, under if you can, if you can be reasonably successful there, you know, it is. It, it stands. It stands you in good stead for that transition. You know, but I suppose you know you take every game, one game at a time. You know, and I suppose you just build it up, and, and you don't treat it any differently. You don't, you don't, you don't look that far ahead. You know, uh, we took a league one game at a time with some good, some madland, some poor performances. The championship, but, but uh, you know we've managed to win them so far. You know, haven't been all perfect, but you know we take a learning at each one of them, and hopefully put some of that learning or some of the, some of that into practice the next day. You know, but. It's, it's just something you try to build a bit of momentum over over the season, you know, and sometimes it goes for you and sometimes it doesn't. Brian Fergal said on sun, or Saturday, I should say, um, they're not looking at this as a two-year project, three-year project. If it happens for you in year one, go for it. Is that very much the mantra from the word go this year? Or? Well, like, I think anybody playing football, you know, you don't put off to tomorrow what you can do today, you know, and I don't think anybody's any different. You know, who knows what's around the corner? You know, just living the now and living the moment and do the best we can with what we have as we have it. You know, and that's what we've been. We've took every game at a time, try to do the best we can, come to training every night, do the best we can, and see where that takes you. Could you imagine this time, 10 months ago, that's you'd be here preparing for an all Ireland final? I probably didn't imagine, I didn't imagine I'd be managing it 10 months ago. So it didn't probably, but it just it's the way things happen. But you know, no, we didn't manage anything, and I suppose everybody wants to do the best they can, you know, and they want to get to the Ireland final. That's all. But you, you know, you never think about that at the time. You're thinking about the next game, you know, the first game, and then the next one after that. You don't have time, and especially this year, you definitely haven't had time to think much, much further ahead because you know, games have been every couple of weeks. You know, uh, and it's good, good from a player point of view because they're less training probably. You know, but it does create its own challenges from a preparation point of view. Are you able to enjoy these games, Brian, the way you were able to enjoy them when you were a player in Croke Park and Clonus and places like that uh, way back then? I'm not sure. I don't know if it's enjoyment or not. <laughs> Maybe enjoyment afterwards, but if you won them, but you know, it's uh, they're they're just they're they're a challenge, and that's probably I suppose you enjoy the challenge, you know, of it. You know, and uh, 
uh, that's probably what you do enjoy is the, more the challenge of it um, but it's hard to know if the enjoyment would be probably the right word for watching some of the stuff you know it's definitely you could think of probably better things but um, things are go- whenever it's going well it's alright you know but things don't always go well for you when you think about the whenever you'd have been playing Brian for the All-Ireland Final you had a four or five week build up and you had maybe two or three weeks before every game this year it has been basically fortnight on fortnight and sometimes tighter than that that kind of system how do you feel about it compared to what has gone before no it gets a good enough system you know it is what it is an environment run you know what, what we have to expect um, we, uh, this is what we knew we were getting um ideally everybody wants more preparation but you know players want games they don't want a lot of training so from a player point of view it's perfect you know they just want game 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 you know so and you you get you probably find out players improve more playing games you learn more about them playing games you know so from that point of view it's probably helpful too from our from that perspective mightn't give you the ideal time for preparing all the time but you know it is what it is brian can you give us a sense just the day or two after Clarny, the league game, the mood must be fairly low. It was, it was low to say, <laughs> low been, uh, to say the least. It was, um, it was probably, you know, it, it was, um, what would you call it? I would say even embarrassing near enough, you know, to get, you know, six goals conceded, and it could have been a lot more than six, you know, in all honesty. You know, if they put half of what, half of what they'd missed as well, would have put a, you know, up into double figures probably, you know, so it was definitely a big wake up call for us and for the players you know and uh, I suppose buzz right back to the drawing board again you know and some things and you know but and probably looking back on now we probably weren't as bad as that we had a very bad day you know and we're probably not as good as where we think we are or you know we're somewhere in between it but that's always the way you know there's always room for improvement whatever day you go out you're, you're never the finished article Brian did that make it more gratifying the, 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 the manner of performance that sat in the sense that it a lot of players spoke about embarrassment that it kind of recaptured the essence of what Tyrone football was uh, well I suppose uh, I wouldn't say from a Kerry point of view um, you know it was a chance to get to an Ireland final you know which was which was the big thing it wasn't a matter of uh, it was Kerry surely and Kerry a good team you know uh, it was a big challenge for us but it was just it was the opportunity of you're playing an Ireland semi-final you had an opportunity of getting to the final you know and you know, that was probably our primary aim, or mine certainly anyway. You know, was the opportunity to get to the final. Um, you know, we had a lot of learning, obviously, to take from the six goals. You know, we had to learn that you know if we were going to concede goals again, we we're going to be in serious problems. You know, so that was one thing we had to look at. Um, thankfully, we did that. Now we sailed close to the one a few times. You know, a bit too close from a liking, but thankfully we got over the line. But it did remind you of the, of the team that you played on? You know, in, in the noughties that. It- you know that they were quite passive in Killarney that evening, whereas this was, you know, this was the Tyrone of, I suppose, the Tyrone of the Nauties. Uh, well, I don't know. This team, you know, team has worked hard. Um, I suppose they 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 had a. It's hard to compare teams. You know, different. You know, teams move on and different players come along. But you know, all you want is teams to give of their best, to work as hard as they can. And you know, that's what they did last week. They really upped their work rate, they upped their intensity, and that's what we wanted to see. You know, and we're going to need to see a lot more of it because probably if you think about it, that's Mayo's key strength is their, their work rate, their intensity off the ball, you know, and that's one of the biggest challenges we're going to face uh, on Saturday week. Is it a bit more a harder team to decode than carry in that sense because you can see a contrast maybe between Tyrone and Kerry where maybe there might be as big a contrast in the styles of, of Mayo and Tyrone? No, and they probably are. And like Mayo have, Mayo may have been there or thereabouts over the last 10 years plus. You know, they're always there. They're always knocking on the door every year. You know, and consistently they've been there. Um, they have a phenomenal outfit the year. They beat Dublin, you know, and they deservedly so beat Dublin. They held them 13 points, which a lot of people never talk about, you know, which no team ever held them anywhere near that in normal time. Um, you know, they have, and, that, and that's evidence of the, of the work rate that they put in all around the field, just not only in their defence. Um, and they're, you know, they're putting up some big scores the year as well, as we've seen. Brian is, uh, Mickey. In 2003, had a first season bounce with yourselves. You know, there's been managers since the likes of Gavin, Desi Farrell, Hamish Jack O'Connor, who see, have done very well in their first season. Do you, is it a real thing? It seems as if you're experienced in it now. 
I suppose time will tell, you know. Um, people might say that, they might write about it and whatever else, you know, who knows. I suppose you come in and there is a, maybe a fresh or something different, maybe. I don't know. Um, Mickey had it, wasn't everybody coming to us in 2003, it worked for us, you know. Um, I think it's the players as well, the players just realise that, you know, uh, maybe they have a point to prove again, you know, and they're out there to prove a point to everybody that, and they want to get on this team, you know, and you have a whole freshness from that, from that approach, maybe, from that from perspective, might be what, what's happening, you know, really, but you know, the boys have been fairly good, you know, they've responded well to our training this year, coaches, come in, Joey and Collie and Pete, have been, you know, training, training is good, you know, and they're enjoying it, so just hopefully we can take another step. 2003 we've heard the story about the bull or the cow with yourself Brian is that is that no, paper, paper never refused ink as you know <laughs> so you never you didn't hear from me <laughs> so I wouldn't read a lot into some of the stories no. <laughs> so you're not, not neither conforming <laughs> nor I would just leave it like that <laughs> Brian just on, on Killarney did you did you doubt yourself much or the management team did you doubt yourselves after that or what were the debriefs like after that? Oh, you had to do yourself, you know, but like it was just, it was a meltdown more or less, if you want to call it. As such, you know, just, there uh, was just systems failure everywhere. And, you know, it just wasn't what you expect. It wasn't what we expect, it wasn't what the players expect. You know, we had to look at ourselves, what the hell was going on with us. Players also had to look at themselves, and thankfully they did. And, you know, they took a learning on board. You know, they stood up and said, this wasn't right, that wasn't right, and we didn't, should have done this, that, and whatever. But, you know, took that on board. But, you know, uh, but ideally, you wouldn't like to go that far to learn them, or to get them learnings again, you know. It's, it's fairly chastening now. <laughs> what was the response like when you came back here? Were the foundation set for what happened Saturday night when you came back here for the session after that Canary game? No, it was just we looked at, we looked at, we looked at the game. Uh, Looked, analyzed the game, showed the players the game, and they looked at it themselves, you know, um, and just started the process of putting these, you know, the things we've done wrong, right, you know, and how we took the learning from it. You know, that's what we've done with every game. We've made mistakes, you know, against Kerry, they really punished us for mistakes. Them mistakes were made probably in earlier games as well, only the team they were playing against didn't punish us as well. And that's the thing about Kerry, they will punish you. And it's the same, whenever you get to this level, you know, Teams just if you make mistakes, teams will you don't really get a second chance now. Brian, just with water breaks, would you like to see them continuing in the future or would you like to see the back of them? I suppose we're glad of them because you've no merit for in your role. So you need to have something. You know, it's it's a long time to go without talking to anybody. You know, you can't get any messages in anymore. And you can't get any changes really made. You know, so as it gives you a chance to Get a, get some settlement. You know, it'll work for you. Some days it'll work against you. Some days you have a bit of momentum going into it. And you lose it. Some days you want that momentum. Some days you need that moment. You want. Some days you want the momentum to continue, and you get it broke. And other days you need that break because you're getting cleaned out somewhere. So it's probably six of one, half a dozen an hour. But definitely, you need something because it's it's a long time to go, and especially in our first year, it's actually more so a bigger issue. If you enjoyed this piece of content, please follow us on YouTube by hitting the subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of the page, which helps the channel grow. And if you want audio podcasts, go to patreon.com forward slash our game.